Hello and welcome. This is Darius Barasande, host of the U.S. Revolution. And if you're about to watch this amazing session that we did, then you're part of a group of humans on this planet who are ascending and moving into a higher frequency. You're not here by accident, and I'd like to offer you a special gift that will help you to adjust to some of these frequencies, plug in even deeper, and it's an energy activation MP3 that will double the power of your energy field in less than 57 seconds. It's absolutely free, and it's the first link in the description down below, but it's also going to let you get to hear calls like this one live and get daily help from healers, teachers, and masters all over the world. It's absolutely free and it's part of what we're doing every day at UAuth Revolution. So if you feel called in your heart, you can click the link down below and the special session that you wanted to watch and experience will start right now. I want to start with your background and how you came to this work because you have an interesting story and it's a story that maybe a lot of people can find some connection with absolutely uh, i'd rather be teaching than talking about myself but you know I, I believe that if you're going to trust somebody to change your consciousness you, you really need to know a little bit about them and you need you need to trust them and i want to tell you why i'm here why i'm speaking with you today what brought me here um, let's start with my parents who were good people they were decent people but they had a very negative consciousness about money actually about life the legacy I got from my parents was a struggle mentality, and I know that many of your listeners are, are going to be able to relate to that. So here I was, I went into the world with this consciousness of struggle, not being able to meet my needs, into my adulthood. But there was something in my soul that just drove me to find out what is going on here in this game of life. Why is it some people can succeed and accomplish in life and others cannot? I was driven to study, and I totally immersed myself in the teachings of these great icons that came before us. Who are these icons? I'm talking about those legendary, brilliant masters of mental and spiritual science. And I buried myself in their teachings and in the literature. I had a couple of live teachers. In fact, Dr. Joseph Murphy, the author of The Power of Your Subconscious Mind, lived just a few moments, for a few blocks from here, and he was my first great teacher. Not first grade, <laughs> first great teacher. Someone once thought I said he was my first grade teacher. And Dr. Murphy started me on the path and... and uh, I hope from the next dimension he's smiling right now. So I had, I had some changes. I buried myself in the teachings of these, these great masters. I had some changes. I had some shifts. But I still wasn't at the point where I wanted to be. What did I want? I wanted to make a mark in the world. I wanted to do something meaningful. I wanted to accomplish, you know, find a place for myself. Most of all, and you mentioned this earlier, most of all I wanted to lose the fear. I did not want to be like my parents. And I'm talking about also financial fear, mainly financial fear. So there came a point when I was reaching a milestone age, and I don't need to tell you what that age is. <laughs> I said, that's it. I've had it. I'm going to do this. I'm going to have a breakthrough. And I really decided, now this is important, I made a decision. I was ready. I made a decision. I was going to take everything that I had learned. Uh, uh, let me ask you, um, your audience, does this sound familiar? Okay. You learn it all. You've read the books, you've heard all the experts, you've gone to the seminars. You have all that information in your head, but somehow you don't seem to be able to incorporate it into your everyday life. And that's what I was determined to do. I now, said, I'm going to ask really quick, Marilyn, anybody mm -hmm. here um, feel like that's the case? You, you, you kind of feel like you know what needs to be done, or you've got the, the information, but you're not seeing it translate in your life. And, and what's really key about you wealth is we, we don't want you to just gather. We want you to live it and have it um, show up. So share with us at uwealthrevolution.com forward slash now whether that resonates. And Marilyn, I'll let you keep going. This is fascinating. Thank you. Um, so, you know, I said to myself, I'm going to take these laws. I'm going to make mm. them work. I mean, I knew... There was something to this. All of these teachers, teachers weren't making this up. I knew that th these laws were absolute. But I said, I'm going to make them work. I'm going to change my life. I made that firm decision, not a wishy-washy decision, a firm decision. Right. I said, I'm going to overcome this, uh, what I call, I, I use the term lack consciousness because mm -hmm. I teach the power of words and how significant our words are, and I don't like that P word. You know the P word? Poverty. <laughs> I don't even like oh. to use it. I don't say it. Well, you're going to learn more about the power of words uh, later on here. So I, I said, so let's call it a lack consciousness. I made the decision that I was going to do the homework 
and I'm going to succeed. And what I did is I took the essence of all of this great knowledge of the prosperity laws, of these universal laws, and I put it in very simple, doable formats so that I could process it, so I could use and apply them easily. So that's what I did. And I had a life-changing breakthrough. And, of course, I'm skipping over a lot of details here for the sake of time, but I did have a major breakthrough to the point where I found myself with a new business. There was nothing before. I was actually had no direction before. I found myself with a new business, actually in an industry that I didn't even know existed, that the universe handed me. Mm-hmm. See, once I became aligned with that power that we're going to talk about today, that power, that presence knows the answer. That it knows our destiny. It knows where we belong. Once I became aligned, I ended up on the cover of the Los Angeles Times with my new business, a pioneer company that I created for the special event industry. And in 20 years, and I'm going to say something, uh, again, I'm skipping over a lot of detail, but I'm going to say something that you may not believe is literal, but I promise you this is literal. Okay. I mean this literally. In 20 years of having that business, I never advertised, I never marketed, I never cold called. I didn't network, I didn't join any trade organizations, and yet my little one-woman company, by the way, here in Los Angeles, where millions of people come to achieve their dreams, my little one-woman company attracted the biggest corporations in the world as clients. Then the universe had, okay, now, that's all the good news. I had my breakthrough. But the universe handed me a business in an industry that is most impacted by every disaster. And, and every recession, and I kept getting knocked down. I would accomplish, I was accomplished, but I was knocked down several times. We had the Los Angeles riots, the Northridge earthquake, mm-hmm. national recessions, 9-11. I kept getting knocked down, so it wasn't always easy. But this is what's important. Those were the times that taught me the most. That taught me what worked and what didn't work. We either succumb to the outer circumstances or we reach for that universal life jacket, and we learn to connect. And that's what I did. And I didn't know it in all that time, my 20-year career, I didn't know. And, you know, my 50 minutes of fame, I like to say, with all that publicity, turned into a 20-year career. But in all that time, I didn't know that I was being groomed by this universal power that we're going to talk about. I did not know that I was being groomed to learn these laws so that one day I would teach and help others. And that didn't come into my awareness until 12 years ago, 12 years ago when I was encouraged to teach. And, and these laws were my passion. The mental and spiritual laws were my own passion in life. My goal was to help myself. <laughs> I had never considered, and I didn't know that I would ever have the ability or be capable of helping others. But mm. the doors started to open and open naturally. And I said, okay, universe, if I'm, going, if I'm supposed to teach these laws the universe, give me a method. Give me the gift to be able to help others. Show me how to take my simple laws and put it in a form that others can grasp easily and get results quickly so they don't have to go through my 40-year journey of study. And from that request was born a series of lessons called the Feel Free to Prosper program. I had never been online before. I had never been on a computer before. I had secretaries and word processors doing my, my contracts for the business. But I had gotten online, I was invited to a social media site, and I was, like a, I was like a kid in a candy store. I didn't know there was such a thing as talking to people on the Internet or social media or posts and threads on forums. And I started a network, a network called the Feel Free to Prosper Network. And it was, it was magical. People started to come from, uh, for my lessons from all over the world. Testimonials flew in, and I was just absolutely amazed at what was happening And I knew, I knew in my heart that I was tuned into my destiny. It was just like breathing to me, and I couldn't stop. But I asked myself, I said, you know, how can I make a living doing this? (laughs) I was used to making really big chunks of money from those corporate and convention events. And I said, how how can I make a living doing this? I didn't even know there was a coaching industry. So I said, universe, give me a sign. Am I supposed to do this? I mean, I couldn't stop anyway, Darius. But I said, am I supposed to do this? Mm-hmm. I knew this was coming from my soul, and I, I knew I had to do this, but I asked for guidance. And out of the blue came a fluke phone call. It was not even from a business source. It was a housewife in Los Angeles calling, and she said, I know someone who's looking for a home to rent for a week. And I said, well, you know, I'm in the special events in- industry. We often will rent a home for a few hours for a corporate event. 
a corporate um, event, I said, you would need to call a real estate company if you need a home for a week. And she said, no, it's for a party. <laughs> and I said, a party for a week? And she said, and I remember this like it happened yesterday. It's so clear in my memory. She said, you know, I don't know anything about it. I'll have someone, I'll have someone call you. So I hung up, and I figured it was nothing. Half an hour later, I heard from a gentleman back east, and it was a, a marketing company. He said, someone just handed me your number. It turned out that, woman, that woman's son knew the man at the marketing company, and somehow it got back, back east to, to him, my phone number. And he told me, we have been looking for six months for the right mansion for our client for a promotion, and someone gave me your number. That client was Campbell Soup. And they spent, over the next three years, over $450 million to promote to children, and I was their key vendor. Wow. I, used, I used these prosperity laws to manifest the most amazing locations for these promotions. On my website, you can see the castle in England, the Hollywood mansions, the island in the Caribbean. I had never even booked anything outside of that, you know, that wasn't domestic before. But you see, what had happened here is the universe, this was so clear to me, the universe okay. said to me, you just keep doing what you're doing and you help people with your teachings. You'll be provided for. I'll take care of you. And that's exactly what happened. And I did six promotions for Campbell's for three years. And by the way, they took very little of my time. Using these laws, I was able to find those locations very easily. But after mm. that, after that uh, six, six, promotion, uh, six promotions it was in three years, after that I told them I can't do this anymore. And I, I just knew it was time to let go and fully embrace my new life. And that was the cushion to help me build Feel Free to Prosper. And Feel Free to Prosper took off. I released my former business because this is my mission. This is my sole mission in life. It's taking my experience, my knowledge, and bringing it to others so they can benefit. And that's, that's the legacy I want to leave. Hello and welcome. This is Darius Barzani, host of the Wealth Revolution. And if you enjoyed that snippet of one of our interviews, I'd invite you to just scroll down for one second and click the link down below. You're gonna get access not only to a free gift that's gonna double the power of your energy field in just 57 seconds, you're also gonna to get to be a part of the US Revolution and listen to interviews just like the ones you heard that are happening live right now, daily, where I interview some of the top healers, teachers, and masters in the field of energy transformation, energy healing, consciousness, ascension, and more. Plus, you're gonna to get to be on live calls where you'll get your questions answered, you'll get to submit them via webcast, you'll even get to be one-on-one -on -one live on the phone and get energy healing help daily. It's all part of what we've been doing. So get up to date, click the link, join, and be a part of it. And if you enjoyed this video or you like to see more of it, click the like button or subscribe. I always upload new content and I give weekly energy updates. So please let us know how we can serve you. And thanks for watching and being in my life. Much love.